afternoon everyone. Now, I've been asked to say about um, exam phobia. Now, this is a very common phenomenon. You know that this is a challenging world. People have aspirations. Young folks, they know that because our system of education is such that everything depends on how you're scoring in the exams. So everyone is tensed before the exam. They know that they have to perform well in order to climb the next uh, step in the ladder. So that's why for them, a successful exam is all they want. The problem is that not everyone can go and take an exam without feeling nervous. We all go through this tension before the exams. What's going to happen? How am I going to perform? Am I going to be well enough? Am I going to be standing up to the competition? Am I going to win in the rat race? So these things creep in the mind. And basically, uh, the exam system is such that once you sit uh, or take an exam, if you do well, fine. If you don't do well, there's no way back because you know that your performance has been not good and you'll be struggling. And as you know, these days, every college or every other institute, wherever you want to take entrance, they all see your results at the end of the day. Now, why does this happen? Why does that this exam phobia happen? It's basically our mental getup. No matter how many exams we give, we always feel, feel tensed just before taking the exam. Now, what is it exactly? Basically, before exams, what happens is we become stressed. Stress is basically a concept where your body is getting used to an unwanted situation or something which you have got no idea about. So the, the facts are that the things that happen when you are stressed is your hormones all shoot up, mainly the adrenal hormones, the catecholamines, and that makes you feel very nervous. You, you are very, very restless. You can have less of sleep. You might not eat well. And as a result of all this, that might be an indirect impact on the body itself. Some people, even at the, at the juvenile age, your blood pressure might go up. And because of insomnia, you might feel very, very tired on, during the daytime because you're not sleeping well at night. The body has to compensate somewhere. So if you're not sleeping at night, you have to sleep during daytime. So what then happens is you feel tired all the time. And because of this, your performance might further deteriorate. Now, does it happen to everyone? No, it doesn't happen to everyone. There are a few people who, by nature, they have an anxious personality. We have different types of personalities. Some people are born anxious. The stress is more in this group of people. There's no difference between males and females. It's, it's, people say that females get more nervous. That's absolutely incorrect. It depends on the mental keta. And also it depends on how you have faced situations in the past. So if you have done exams, you have practiced exams in the past quite often, then probably you know the uh, situation, so you can tackle it better. But people who haven't taken, taken exams in the past and who have got very high ambition, people who have done always well in the, uh, in the exams, for instance, who have always stood first in the class, they suffer with more because they know that one step here and there, it might ruin their career. Now, how can we avoid this? The best way to avoid the stress is to just, for instance, you have to relax. There's no point studying throughout the day. You need to have breaks. You need to listen to music. You need to go out. You need to watch movies. You need to chat with your friends. You need to uh, chat with your uh, parents. This is how you can distress yourself. The other thing is you also need good food. You need to ensure that your body is not deprived of calories. And the most important thing is you need very good sleep. It doesn't make any sense that you're sort of uh, studying till 2 o'clock in the morning and next day again waking up at 6 in the morning and then you feel more stress because the body clock is not getting used to this demand in the situation. So sleep is very important. Good food is very important. A bit of exercise is also very important. I won't say someone taking an exam to go in the gym and spend 3-4 hours but you'd ask him or her, whoever is taking the exam, to just go for a walk. Might be 10 minutes, 15 minutes of walk and also drink plenty of water. Also have a very nice environment. For instance, if you have the facilities to have air conditioning at home, you should have a pleasant temperature at home. And also what you do, you need to relax in between. You need to sort of go through the magazines or newspapers to distract yourself from what is coming. And on the day of the exams, you just take it easy. You just forget that you have an exam on that day. You just be normal, try to be normal. And don't try to open your books in the day of exam. Just forget everything. Just have a mentally very, very relaxed day. And go and take care. So this is how you tackle the stress. This is how you tackle uh, what you call the, the phobia of exams.